All right, so we're going to start painting on our plant drawings. Um, when you go to paint on your plant drawings, we don't ever want to use colors straight out of the container. Uh, we always want to mix them with other colors. So you can see I'm cleaning out colors from the lid that I previously mixed. So I'm just going to just real quick clean that out. So now I'm going to use this as my mixing surface um, to change the colors just a little bit. So if I wanted to start off with my plant itself, uh, make sure that you're starting off with a really light watery color. So maybe I can put my water on this side. Maybe that's a little better. So now I'm adding water into this yellow. See if it's really puddly. And then I'm putting it into this lid. I can squeeze the yellow off into there. Grab a little bit of greens. Squeeze that color into there tiny, tiny bit of blue. And now that color is looking really dark. Um, I'm going to add some more yellow into it. And there's too much pigment. I need more water. So I'm just going to get some clean water and drip that into there. And now you can see it's like flowing down the lid here. And this color is very light and very see-through. So I have some of that color on my brush. I'm just going to pick up a little bit more water go in and get some yellow off to the side kind of mix that in and I can start to kind of like lightly put that wash on here but that looks super yellowy so now I can start to add some of the greens and I realized that that's a negative space I didn't actually want to paint that because that spot right there is part of the background so I'm just going to take a paper towel and pick up that color real quick and because it's watercolor paper and not sketchbook paper or some other paper that will absorb so fast as long as I just am very gentle with it a little bit of water on there and then the paper towel I should be able to pick up almost all of the color from there so now I can go back in grab some more of these light watery colors and again we want them very very see-through so if I paint on this it's very see-through and I can start to just kind of have some fun putting these colors in um, with my particular plant if you look at the image over here you can see those are big holes that are uh, in the leaves so I don't actually want to paint those in so I'm going to try to paint around those holes and leave that for the background space and now maybe I'm even going to add in a tiny dot of red so you see the red and it will still be green, but it's going to be a more muted green. So I can kind of play around with the colors that I'm putting in here. We're going to go back in with more layers and more colors after it's dry. So please don't um, worry about getting an exact color correct right now. This is supposed to be loose, it's supposed to be a little bit fun. Um, and it's also supposed to be very see-through. With watercolors, you can always go darker but you can't always get it back lighter especially once it dries it gets to be more difficult i realized i forgot to erase this pencil border and once you go over it with paint it doesn't really pencil doesn't really erase i already kind of botched that up a tiny little bit because i got it wet before i erased it my fault make sure all of your border stuff is erased so my leaf can come on the outside there so hopefully that will be hidden by the time I'm done painting and I can kind of add in and mix colors on here as I go like it doesn't all have to be the same exact shade so there I added a little bit more yellow let's see is that a hole my plant is confusing me all right so I think that's the hole and this is part leaf it's gonna have to be now we're just kind of going with it
So you can see that was a really light, watery, see-through color. So now all of this um, can be painted much darker. The marker still shows up a lot. And if there was even pencil marks there, you would still be able to see them. So um, please, please keep your paints watery. But that doesn't mean put so much water on your paper that it's flooding. Like if you end up with, so for example, if you end up with an area where you're painting and you have like this whole puddle, see that puddle? That's really difficult, difficult to control. So get a paper towel, dry off your brush, and really gently just kind of like roll your brush across, dry it off, roll it across. And I'm not like scraping at this and I'm not scraping at this either. Um, I'm just very gently going on the brush. If you take your brush and you do this, you are going to wear out your watercolor paper and it's going to be more difficult to work with and it might even start to show signs of pilling like an old damaged sweater. Um, so be really careful, just be very gentle on the brush and it's just using the surface of the brush, not pressing hard.